My name is Joe Saylor. I'm the Jazz Cowboy, and I love J. Ross TV. What's up, y'all? This your boy J. Ross hanging out with my cat Joe. I ain't seen Joe in a minute, y'all. Last time he was in the loo, he was blazing with John. Mm -hmm. But hey, man, I'm sitting there talking to Joe. Now, y'all know Joe is the drummer for the late night with Stephen Colbert, you know, Channel 5. So Joe making that big money now. But Joe. <laughs> 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 Shout out to my cats in the band, Lewis and, Lewis and, and John. And man, I ain't gonna even try to pronounce Rabamba name, yeah. man. What? Ibanda. I can't, I, yeah. I, big dog. Big dog. There you go. Big dog on the tube. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Joe, now, so we're like, you playing on TV now, man, but I remember when you grinding. You know, you you are you in St. Louis now, mm -hmm. hitting with uh, Emmy Khan and Night Trio, man. Mm -hmm. But talk about like some of the sacrifices you had to make, man, in order to get from, you know, just playing mundane clubs mm -hmm. to now 50 million people a night see you on TV. Well, I, I, you know, there, there's a running joke in New York. You know, I'm, I moved to New York in 2004, and I was getting paid about 50 dollars a gig uh, playing little clubs. And, and I would take lessons from some, some of the older musicians, and they said they would move to New York in, in the 80s, and they were paying about $200 rent, and, and the gigs paid about $50. So they played four gigs a month, they could make rent, and now rent's $2,000, and the gigs still pay $50. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, being a young musician is definitely a, a grind. Um, it's not... A, a career path that the majority of people take. It's something that um, I feel is really special and unique. You know, it's a, especially jazz music is a is a passion that I feel hits a lot of people when they're young. It definitely hit me when I was young uh, from hanging out with my mentor, the great Roger Humphreys from Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, and it just uh, it kind of it, it, it kind of drew me. You know, it drew me in. But uh, I was a young musician. I was in my early 20s. Um, I'm, I'm 31 years old now. And uh, I can remember uh, I, I had no money at one point to pay rent. And I had to sell my only drum set. I had a great Yamaha uh, Maple Custom brand new drum set. And, uh, and I couldn't pay my rent. I didn't have any gigs. I didn't have a job. Uh, so that's, that's a sacrifice I had to make. But looking back on it now, it was a life lesson. You know, and uh, and we all go through go through life and, and have lessons and um, go through different times and hardships and uh, but now I'm, I'm I am very blessed mm -hmm. um, and it's 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 definitely something that I gr give credit to the Lord for blessing me um, not only with life and Him but um, extra blessings like uh, like a nice gig you know that I can pay rent uh, I can support myself. And I also want to give a shout out to uh, my companies that endorse me, Tama Drums, oh, yeah. amazing, Zildjian Cymbals, uh, Vic Firth Drumsticks, and Remo Drumheads. Um, to have those four companies who really provide me with everything that I need um, artistically is uh, a huge blessing yeah. and I want to say thank you to all of them. Hey Joe now, hey man like how did you hone your skills like growing up man so you can be prepared for a stage such as such as this man? Did you like growing up did you uh, miss playing with the, your friends you know playing baseball and soccer and all that? You know what I didn't because I was also I had an incredible situation where my two best friends that I grew I came from Indiana Pennsylvania Pennsylvania small town about a uh, an hour and a half northeast of Pittsburgh, and my two best friends that I grew up in church with, Philip Keane and Angelo Versace, just happened to get bit by the jazz bug as well. And so the three of us uh, started playing jazz together in a trio uh, that, that played piano and bass um, by the time we were 14 years old. And so instead of <clears throat> going outside every day and playing backyard football or baseball or whatever, um, we would be listening to Art Blake and the Jazz Messengers and learning Four Silver songs and, yeah. uh, and all kind of stuff. And so that, that was my teenage recreation. You know? yeah.